Hello, Mary Joy Arthur. Magandang gabi po. Good evening, Sister Mina. Hello, Uno. Good evening. Hello, Sister Edith. Good evening. Hello, Sister Mary. Sister Mary Naka, good evening. How is uh, Brother Satesh and the children? JL Jersey City, good evening. Hello, Nanay Ason and Sister Anna and Brother Titus, good evening. Hello, Sister Josie Kaulian. Nanay Dori, magandang gabi po. Hello, Sister Lorena. Good evening. Namaste na, Sister Lorena. Praise God, praise God. Hello, Sister Early from North Dakota. Good evening. Sister Susan, good evening. Hello, Sister Edith. Good evening, Sister Pachi. Sister Hannah and Brother Robert. Good evening. Sister Mary. Good evening. Sister Emma. Good evening. Yeah. So people are coming in. So we will wait for a few more minutes. Well, it looks like we're going to open up uh, the churches soon, uh, but uh, wait for the official announcement where, uh, when are we going to open the official date. Um, but we will still practice the social distancing, okay? The social distancing, we will practice that and uh, we will require masks. Uh, Sister Josie, good evening. Uh, we will require masks for everyone. And uh, hello, Brother Joe. Good evening, Sister Karen. And so we have received a uh, guidelines from the CDC and the uh, the mayors and the government, the local government, and um, they still want us to practice social distancing. So we're going to arrange the uh, setup of the church and uh, we will announce to you when are we going to start to open. Um, we might have we might have uh, two services or three services in New York and Jersey City because of the, uh, the, the limitations of the space in our church building. And so I think that would be good to have two services. Uh, life groups will still be on Zoom uh, meetings online. Hello, Jada Rose. Hello, Sister Rowena. A life group will still be online because it's not safe for everyone to gather inside the uh, house. So for the safety of everyone, we will still have our life groups online. Okay. Uh, slowly but surely, by the grace of God, we will uh, resume uh, even our life groups. But for now, uh, it's better to be safe, okay? Praise the Lord. And also, we have um, some prayer items here. And uh, we have praise report as well. Amen. Hello, Sister Melba and Brother Nilo. Welcome to our nightly prayer again. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? By the way, we have a, a praise report here from Sister Melba, uh, Lorna, Lucila, 
uh, was healed from COVID-19. Amen. To God be all the glory. Amen. And the, the, the best thing that had happened to Lorena Lucila, she received the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. She is now officially a born again, bonified, sanctified, bought by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Glory to God. And uh, continues. Uh, uh, okay. Kathy and Tony Muska, they are healed from COVID uh, disease or virus, coronavirus. Amen. So praise be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sister Grace, good evening. Uh, Brother Tom, Sister Ampi, Sister Tess, Sister Sarah, good evening. Sister Farid, Sister Giselle. Amen. So uh, those are the praise report. Glory to God. Mga na born again. Glory to God. And not only being healed uh, physically, but also being healed spiritually. Amen. So, blessed be the name of the Lord. Again, so, okay, it's 8 o'clock and we're going to praise and worship the living God. Amen. Let's sing, we're together again. We're together again. Just praising the Lord.
flesh and blood but we were born again by the spirit of our god because of the cross of the lord jesus christ the only reason why we can praise and why we can worship it it's because he made it possible upon the cross of our god so we are forever grateful we are forever in debt hallelujah and puso namin our hearts are uh, filled with gratitude Lord god for what you have done on the cross in the name of jesus and we pray O lord god that you are the one who's going to be glorified, that you're the one who's going to be magnified in this place, in our prayer meeting. And I pray, O Lord God, that your blood will continue to cleanse us, cover us, and continue to, hallelujah, lead us, O Holy Spirit, in our prayer night. Father, we thank you, and we bless you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Every beautiful people of God say amen and amen. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, Sister Sally, Sister Jasna, good evening, and even Sister Mimi and Sister Nerissa, hallelujah. Brother Francis, Sister Gurley, hallelujah. Who else? Sister Myra, Brother Ronald, Gloria, magandang magandang gabi. Sister Bessie, magandang gabi, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we are one, amen. Praise the Lord. We are here once again in giving glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So to all of those uh, uh, just came in, uh, we received a guideline now from the uh, state of New York and uh, even the uh, the local government, the mayor of uh, NYC. Uh, uh, they they want us they, when we are about to open New York, and they still want us to observe the um, social distancing, and uh, we will require masks. We will require masks. All of us we will have to 
uh, wear masks when we go to church. And of course, um, uh, we had a meeting with uh, some workers and um, leaders, and uh, we're going to arrange the seats in the church. So we might have two services in Jersey City and New York. Okay, it depends on, uh, uh, and so we need to have a meeting again. Uh, now that I'm gathering all of the information that I need, so I'm I'm ready now to uh, have a meeting with the. Uh, uh, life group leaders in the CMTs in order for us to craft an action plan on how we are going to start our Sunday service, okay? So there's a very, very good possibility that we will have two or three services because of the limitations of our space, okay? So that's good news. And also we will have a midweek uh, service online. This is online midweek service. And uh, this time, it's not going to be a prayer meeting. It's more on uh, more on evangelism. The approach is evangelism, so the message is different. Okay. All right. So uh, I believe that's all of the announcement for tonight. Uh, let's go to our short exhortation of the Word of God. And uh, yeah, my praise report. Okay, I'm going to say it again, the praise report, Sister Melba's praise report. Sister Lorna Lucila is, was healed from COVID-19. Amen. And that's not only that. Her physical is not the one that only was healed, but also she got born again. She received the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So to God be all the glory. Palakpakan naman po tayo sa the kapurihan ng Panginoon. Let's give God a clap of praise. Hallelujah. Even when you're by yourself, clap your hand. One soul, hallelujah, has been born again. Amen. Glory to God. And also, Kathy and Tony Muska is healed from COVID positive. Amen. Glory to God. All right. We, we have a prayer request later. And uh, let me just go on to our um, short message for tonight. And... Um, And uh, turn your Bible in the book of uh, Luke, chapter 13, the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 11 uh, to 12. Let me get my Bible. Luke, chapter 13, verse 11 to 12. Hallelujah. Matthew, Mark, Luke. Luke, chapter 13, right. verse 11 and 12. Okay, so here it is. And a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit uh, for 18 years. She was bent over and could not straighten up at all. In other translation, the spirit of infirmity. So there is what you call the spirit of infirmity. All right. Who has crippled this woman for 18 years? Okay, verse 12, when Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Amen. May the Lord add blessing upon the reading of his word. Um, remember the, uh, the, the, the sermon last uh, Sunday? Uh, Jesus' priority was for the lost, for the least, and for the, uh, what's the other one? Uh, for the last, last, least, and lost. Amen. So this woman who was being tormented by the spirit of infirmity for 18 years. Okay. Jesus uh, went to see her. Uh, now Jesus was teaching in the synagogue. It was a, uh, let's say in our generation, it was a church service. And uh, it, Jesus didn't wait for her to make an appointment. When Jesus saw her with compassionate eyes, uh, Jesus approached her. Amen. So the power of uh, God, hallelujah, the power of the uh, the compassion of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He is, Jesus is our great physician. Amen. So the physician's patient was the crippled woman. Okay, a woman which had the spirit of infirmity. Uh, what is the spirit of infirmity? You know, it's weakness, kahinaan, okay? Feeble, 
you know, bent forward, okay? Baluktot, you know? And it's a disease. And I'm not saying all uh, sickness or spirit are caused by spirit. Uh, what I'm saying is in, in her case, the spirit of infirmity was upon this woman for 18 years and Jesus saw, saw that woman. Now, uh, for every person, there is a, uh, let's say, three characters in this story. The person, the problem, and the prescription. These are the three characters in this story. The person, which is the woman who has the infirmity, the problem, and the prescription. When we say that Jesus is our healer, yeah, it's safe to say that Jesus is our physician. Amen? In our modern term right now, he is our physician, the great physician that have never lost a patient. Hindi pa po namamatay ng pasyente si Jesus. Never. Anything that comes to Jesus, nabubuhay po. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so, uh, let's examine very shortly what are the three things that we can get from this. Uh, the three characters of this uh, story is the person, the problem and the prescription so for every person there's a problem do will you agree i i haven't met a person who does not have a problem so every person has a problem and every problem has a prescription the question is which position are you going okay kanino ka ba for every problem god has a prescription and uh, in this testimony, it was mentioned about the past 18 years. For the past 18 years, this sickness, this weakness was overpowering this woman until uh, it affected her physical body and she was bent down, couldn't even look up. And uh, can you imagine a person that uh, cannot even look down or look up? Hallelujah. And... Uh, she is being bent for 18 years. Yeah. A lot of things could have happened. And this spirit that's causing her to be disabled, to be feeble, uh, uh, for 18 years, uh, was causing pain to this woman for that long time. It causing pain to that woman for a long time. My question for you, my brothers and my sisters, do you know somebody that's... Uh, experiencing pain right now that's why we need to intercede that uh, to that person and we need to go and witness to them that you know a physician that have never lost a patient amen that you know a healer that will charge no money that will attend just call upon the name of Jesus. The Bible says, those who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. You don't even need an appointment. Witness on how good this physician is. Hallelujah. No one will be rejected. Kung sino man daw ang, ang lumalapit sa Panginoon, God will never put to shame anyone who comes to Him. So this physician that we are talking about cannot only heal physical ailment or pain, but can also heal spiritual and emotional and even mental ailment. And better yet, he can also heal financial difficulties. Amen? So in this case, every person that you will speak to, every person that you talk to, every person that you have a relationship with has definitely for sure has a problem. Amen? Even disabled people have problems. Amen? Even babies have problems. If they are hungry, glory to God, they ha that's a problem for that small baby. Uh, you have to have a solution. So, every person that you meet, even on online, is an opportunity to present the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Glory to God. And that's why we're praying tonight that God may give us wisdom, that God may give us the uh, authority to use his name and even hallelujah the holy spirit will use us to heal which uh, those people that are sick amen so 
for every person there's a problem and for every problem there is a prescription and the prescription is uh, coming from the great physician himself we cannot formulate any prescription nor our own advice what advice we give is coming from the word of god guided and backed up by the holy spirit amen and so for the past 18 years and and, and interestingly uh the bible mentioned 18 years something had happened in the past and you know what god can even heal what what was uh the past has brought you meron bang mga nakaraan is there any past experiences that you had that is still causing pain to you today go to the great physician and he will heal you amen actually uh he chose this message tonight to reach out for you i am just a messenger and the great physician is telling you i am reaching out to you right now i am reaching out to your loved ones right now i am reaching out hallelujah his anointing is right at the door of your heart open up your heart receive him hallelujah receive the prescription and he will speak to you you know that his word is healing the prescription of this world you have to buy you have to uh, ask for the doctor's uh, note but this is this is god's prescription it heals physical emotional spiritual even financial this is the prescription all we need to know is the the proper and the specific word of god and he will heal you instantly believe me i've seen and i've heard many testimonies and i experienced testimony myself that god have healed me and my wife instantly you know sister josie she has scoliosis at the early age when she was a teenager i think kaliwang paa but uh when we were in virginia we were uh she was she was uh, starting to have a hard time walking a uh, normal but we have a uh, a pastor that visited us when we were still in virginia instantly sister josie was healed you know what we didn't ask for that pastor jesus sent that pastor you know that pastor just just uh uh told us that hey i'm going to visit to your house that pastor was an instrument of jesus yeah we're longing for her to be healed but jesus didn't wait for us to make an effort sometimes god works like that that he will open up opportunities and you and i need to be sensitive and you know what the the guest that we have the pastor that we had he preached the word and prayed and he spoke into his mouth that the lord jesus christ sent him to my house to heal sister josie and right now sister josie doesn't need no special shoes hallelujah i don't know if you saw uh, something like that that uh, one shoes is uh, elevated like this in order for for uh, uh, maging level you know but glory to god jesus cares so much for all of us amen and amen he knows our needs and we just need to welcome the great physician this woman who has who has been suffering for 18 years the right opportunity came to him like right now whatever is ail uh, whatever ailment whatever pain you're experiencing right now i might be or your brother or your sister might be sent to you to pray for you sent by god to pray for you right now in the name of jesus these prayer items that, that we've been praying for every night don't you know that god has sent us to allow this time and to believe in god and to have faith that to pray for these people that has been sick you know how many people in my pages has been uh, contaminated by virus and they got healed and this will be our treasure this will be our testimony and this will be our trophy that god 
is working and still working in our midst. Amen? Hallelujah. Yes, we pray. But I think He is more eager for us to be healed. Only just go to the right physician. Amen? Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, blessed be the name of the Lord. Again, every person has a problem and every problem has a prescription. You and I need to go to the right doctor. And his name is Jesus. He will not only heal you. He will not only uh, deliver you. But he will also bless you. Glory to God. Probably uh, you have financial ailment. Glory to God. God has a prescription in that area as well. Hallelujah. So right now, if any one of you, if any one of you have a pain in somewhere in some part of your body, we're going to pray. And by faith, we will agree with you that your pain will be healed in the name of Jesus. And if you have a family member in the Philippines, glory to God, or in India, or in Japan, or even a, a, a different part of the world, mention their name, hallelujah, and call them over the phone and tell them, you know a physician that have never lost a patient and his name is jesus so to god be all the glory my brothers and sisters hallelujah and even oh, but by the way even there are a uh, relationship problem glory to god god can heal them as well amen there's no sickness that he cannot heal there's no pain that he cannot heal in every sickness there is a prescription. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hold my hand. Come my way to see. You walk with me. You walk
the great physician, the great healer. Hallelujah. Every sickness and disease bow down at the name of Jesus. Every, hallelujah, foul spirit, and the spirit of infirmities, it has to bow down at the feet of Jesus. Glory to God. You will lick the dust in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, hallelujah, those people that have sickness and disease, God's compassionate love for them is so big. It's so vast. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, if you will ask a person who has sickness and disease, he will not he will not want any money. You cannot pay what they desire to get healed. No money can match the desire of a sick person, even though especially those persons that are terminal. You cannot match any millions of dollars or even trillion to offer that person. It will not satisfy even the money and the wealth of the whole world. To a dying person who has sickness and disease, for that person it has no more use. Tayo nga, may masakit lang ang udo. Ni ayaw natin kumain. We don't even want to. We don't even want to eat when we have a headache because it's 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 terrifying our physical body. And you know how much more those people that are sick right now in the ICU, in the hospital, who's undergoing treatment right now. So right now we pray in the name of Jesus. May the compassionate heart of the Lord Jesus Christ be upon us right now. So every person that we're going to pray for, right now if you are experiencing any pain, place your hand right now. Place your hand on where or which part of the body you are, you are experiencing pain right now. And we will believe by faith that He is our healer. Lord, we're coming to you right now in the name of Jesus. By faith, any pain is healed right now in Jesus' mighty name. If you have a headache, if you have a fever, if you have cough, place your hands on those things that are not, hallelujah, feeling well right now on your body parts in Jesus' name. And believe that Jesus is healing you right now in Jesus' mighty name. You speak to my brothers and my sisters right now who are experiencing any pain. Speak your word, Lord. Lord, even relationship problems. Hallelujah. To every problem, you have a prescription, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, even for relationship problems right now, I pray in the name of Jesus that you are the one who's going to fix it and heal any relationship that has been damaged by the enemy in Jesus' name. I rebuke that spirit of infirmity in the lives of your people in Jesus' mighty name. Glory, glory, glory to God. And I pray for miracle, for signs, wonders, and miracles in the lives of your people right now in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, even financial healing, O oh God. I pray for financial healing to my brothers and my sisters right now. I rebuke any bankruptcy. I rebuke any deficiency. I rebuke, hallelujah, any spirit of lack right now that is trying to rob your people, to steal from your people right now. In Jesus' name, Harabasi Karabakanda. And Lord, right now I pray for the well-being of your people. Release prosperity of soul. Release prosperity, O Lord God, of their emotions right now. I even pray, O Lord God, for those people who have sadness, who, who are uh, experiencing depression right now, I pray, I rebuke that depression, I rebuke that sadness, that sadness and depression does not belong to you. It is a spirit, hallelujah, that needs to be rebuked. It is the uh, deceitfulness of the enemy. The Bible says rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Oh, Rabbi, see, Rabbi, Kanda. I pray for the joy of the Holy Ghost to be upon you. Wherever you are right now, whatever your situation right now, nothing is impossible. You can smile again. You can, hallelujah, laugh again in the name of Jesus because God is with you. I rebuke any spirit of loneliness, any spirit, hallelujah, of uh, being uh, self-pity, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it 
even the spirit of self-condemnation. Do not condemn yourself. You have been healed by condemnation in Jesus' mighty name. Mahal na mahal ka ng Diyos. God loves you so much. He will never condemn you because the condemnation that's supposed to be for us, He paid it on the cross. In Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Lord, we pray, hallelujah, for uh, for Jericho. In the name of Jesus, continuous healing for baby Jericho, O Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, we pray for uh, Bea Lorraine Mitra Torres. Uh, she is a COVID positive. Hallelujah. Lord, we rebuke that uh, coronavirus in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for uh, Herman Schoenhaven. Hallelujah. Healing from cancer in the name of Jesus. We rebuke that cancer right now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Lord, we continue to pray for Brother Ed Castillo. Lord, I rebuke any sickness and disease to my brother. Hallelujah. Brother Ed Castillo, I rebuke, hallelujah, anything that is robbing him of his health, O Lord God, Lord, whether it is a physical or spiritual, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus, and I pray for the healing that you have paid on the cross of Calvary that is rightfully his in the name of Jesus. Come on, my brothers and sisters, let's release our faith. Let's release our, hallelujah, uh, blessing to our brother Ed right now. Lord, we pray for Felicissima Canudai, uh, daughter, has Lord, we pray for her complete healing in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we bless you, Lord God. Hallelujah. For the things that you are doing. And Lord, we do believe that nothing is impossible. Hallelujah. To those who believe. Lord, we believe you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With you, the Bible says, with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Healing and restoration. Hallelujah is the purpose why jesus is gathering us like believe my brothers and sisters believe 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 there will be healing there will be restoration hallelujah and there will be continuous blessing i'm not saying you will experience any challenges but the more you challenge the 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 problem the more you attack the problem with the word of god the more god will show himself mighty in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for being our great physician. Thank you for assuring us, O Lord God, that you are the one who will take care of us. You are the great shepherd. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is our shepherd. We shall not be in want. Amen. Lord, to you we give all the glory. We continue to pray for our president, for the opening of New York, for the opening of New Jersey, for the opening of North Dakota and Pennsylvania, even uh, Chicago, Illinois, oh Lord God, Lord, we continue to give us, uh, to ask that you will give us wisdom on how to open the church, and Lord, you will give us, hallelujah, uh, strength, anointing, and strategies, oh Lord God, and Lord, uh, we ask for your approval for uh, uh, multiple Sunday services, oh Lord God, and we just pray right now that you will protect the uh, the church buildings, oh Lord God, and, and we pray, oh Lord God, for the midweek service. We ask for your approval as well. Holy Spirit, lead us in the name of Jesus. We ask, O Lord God, for the life group leaders to be more on fire for you, O God, in the name of Jesus. And we ask, hallelujah, your will to be done in our church ministry that been uh, entrusted to us. We, we continue to lift up to you our governors, our mayors, O Lord God, in the states that you have assigned us, O Lord God. And equip the coordinators, the CMTs, the leaders, O Lord God, as we humble ourselves before you. Turuan niyo po kami dahil pag wala kayo, hindi namin alam ang aming gagawin. Hallelujah. Without you, we will never know what we will do, O God, in the name of Jesus. So we humble ourselves and we ask for your wisdom to be upon us, O Lord God. And Father God, we pray for the President Trump in the name of Jesus and his cabinet members. Hallelujah. And uh, even for the senators, the Congress people, O Lord God, for uh, different uh, branches of the government, O Lord God, continue to bless them. And uh, the opening of the businesses, O Lord God, Lord, we lift them up to you that many people will be safe and they will not uh, be uh, chaotic, O Lord God, that will happen in their businesses, O Lord God. I pray for the protection of the city, of the state, God, that you have uh, entrusted to us. 
And Lord, we pray for the police officers. Hallelujah for everyone, O Lord God, that will be involved in the uh, security of the people. Lord, continue to protect them in the name of Jesus. I speak the blood of Jesus over New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Hallelujah. The Midwest uh, uh, states, O Lord God, North Dakota, in Jesus' mighty name. So, we even pray, O Lord God, for the peace of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. For the Israel. Uh, Lord, we pray that many people will be saved. Lord, we even pray for, hallelujah, the nation of the Philippines. Continue to um, uh, have mercy upon the nation, Lord God. We pray for our bishop, brother Eddie Villanueva. Hallelujah. And I pray, oh Lord God, for the directors, the EMBs, oh Lord God. And Lord, for the supporters, for those people who praise for this ministry. And Lord, I even pray for the body of Christ in general, our brothers and sisters in different churches, oh Lord God, different denominations. Lord, continue to bless them, equip them, O Lord God, and may you continue to strengthen their churches, O God, as well, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, and I pray, O Lord God, for uh, our uh, study of eschatology, uh, that you will continue to uh, guide us and give us more revelations in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, and we bless you, to you, we give all the glory. You are the great physicians, and Lord, I even pray that you will heal my brothers and sisters the pain from the past hurts, the pain from the past experiences that they have, they're still carrying, Lord, heal them. Pray for the parents, family, Lord, continue to heal them uh, in every aspects and areas of their lives. Father, we thank you and we bless you as we give you all the glory, honor, praises, and thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name, this we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for uh, joining again in our prayer night. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, uh, Sister Arlene have a, a testimony. Thank God for one soul got saved tonight at our prayer meeting in Pennsylvania Life Group. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Even in the life group, uh, in our life group in Pennsylvania, headed by Sister Arlene Schaefer, uh, her life group was used by the Lord. Hallelujah. To win a soul. Glory to God. And uh, we continue to pray for her spiritual growth. Her name is Let Corpus. Let Corpus. Yes, Sister Arlene, we rejoice and we celebrate with you as the heavenlies are celebrating right now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, and Sister Arlene, please keep record the dates and the time. And we are going to make a uh, compilation of what had happened in this uh, pandemic situation that God still uh saving people amen and many many more people get used to it you will hear a lot of people being saved being healed being delivered in these times this is a very exciting time to live in this world amen glory to god Maraming salamat and see you again tomorrow at eight to god be the glory may the peace of god be with you all i love you and good night Kasi lang naman. Bergen County.